What's up guys? So this is gonna be kind of a weird start to this video because um, we're gonna jump ahead a lot on this Civic because I lost my phone in a river. So all the videos that I had over the last little while of me working on this are just gone. So I don't have any choice. I just gotta bring you up to speed to where we're at right now and then just move on. So we'll just, yeah. I'm gonna take you around and show you kinda where we're at right now. So lots of things have happened. Um, you'll see I have this up here now. Um, I built a bumper support. Um, I had to, yeah, I just cut these out, you know, made some tube, bent some tube, all sorts of things. Got that all welded up, fixed great with that little um, piece of pool noodle looking stuff. It fits on the bumper pretty good. Uh, yeah, felt really good about that. I ended up moving around the supercharger a little bit, trying to figure out how is going to run the intercooler piping. Currently, this is what I have going on is it's probably going to be on the bottom. I'm still working on that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, a lot more things in the engine bay. Honestly, um, it's going to be kind of hard to go through everything, but I did get the shift box is mounted. The cables are in there. Um, mostly everything is on here. I can show you in here. It's kind of the seat's kind of in the way right now, but you can see there's the, the shifter is in there. It's, uh, yeah, I've done a lot of stuff. The, I did start working on the exhaust. The exhaust is mostly welded up. I need to finish uh, welding one of the sections, which means I need to pull the whole exhaust out, which might be one of the first things I do today. Um, yeah, there's quite a few other things. I did get it started. Unfortunately, that startup video is gone, but it does run right now. I had a lot of problems with the harness. The problems that I was having it it would it didn't want to run like sometimes it would it was like almost kind of run and then it didn't I ended up pulling the wiring harness off of the k1 attack putting it on here and got it to run then I went through this whole harness and figured out there was two wires that were switched on the c101 plug on the inside as soon as I switched those it fired up everything was fine so yeah got that all situated yeah uh I don't even know guys there's so many things that i've done since last time but yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna move on and yeah look towards the future so we're gonna pull the exhaust off and i'm gonna finish welding that all right exhaust is all welded up it's on there while I was at it since I had to take the control arm off I put this rear subframe brace on I was gonna put the sway bar I have on it I have like a progress sway bar and it bolts on to the subframe brace no problem but these fucking Chinese shitty control arms for some reason the thread pitch on these is completely wrong and the sway bar links I have don't fucking work so yeah, I tried tapping them out to see if I could re-tap them for the correct size, but that metal is just, it's garbage. Um, I mean, they're gonna work for now without a sway bar, but I definitely need to buy new control arms because these are, yeah, they're jank. I don't like them. Oh, and one other thing to note, check that out, guys. It's a fucking Tanabe race medallion uh, exhaust on there, or at least the muffler is. It's been chopped, like somebody had chopped it and put it on there. It's gonna be way too loud because it's literally just a muffler and it's straight piped all the way to there. So at some point, it's gonna need a resonator, but I did put a flex in there at least. It's got a nice V-band, so yeah. It does look good. I really like how it looks. Okay, so you saw me doing a bunch of cutting. That was, uh, I was doing, I was cutting the whole radiator support, the lower part of it off of there, so I could weld these uh, radiator mounts on there. And then because the way I had to cut it, I actually, actually had to stitch weld the whole bottom of the radiator support back together, because it was like, yeah, separated. But it fits in there really good now. Um, I'll probably clean it up later when I pull the engine back out to paint the bay and do all that stuff. I'll probably clean it up and make it nice, but for the moment, it's it'll be fine. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that before, uh, I dropped my phone in the river. I did all this stuff to the intercooler. So this is that intercooler that was on the Mini Cooper. I ended up re-welding a whole bunch of stuff. It 
had a had a outlet coming off of one of these and the cap of that one obviously it's been capped a whole bunch of times at this point um, I ended up cutting that off and redoing that I built this entire charge pipe here painted it you see it goes around there really nice and right up into there um, I do need to do the lower one or the one that goes to the supercharger to the other side that one is the next one that I need to work on however I think what I want to do before I do that is I want to, I think I'm gonna uh, sand this down a little bit and I'm gonna build a tab so that it'll actually like bolt it on there so it doesn't move. Because otherwise it might just rattle against the frame and I don't want that. So yeah, I'm gonna get some aluminum, make some sort of bracket. guys I got the lower pipe all built yeah I already uh, went through and pressure checked it so I know we're all good basically I took like a u-band I ended up having to extend it and these even though it looks like it's straight on it's just a little bit of an angle to it just to make it work in there but it fits pretty good so I'm gonna put it back in there and then I'm gonna try and build a tab for this to bolt it on so it's not just moving around and then yeah paint it all right I'm in busy uh, I got the pipes on there. Obviously that one's painted. Looking real nice. I'll bolt it on. I did get a uh, radiator hose situated on the bottom. I just basically took one accord hose and then I took like a little elbow and had a little junction there. Got the top one on there. I did get the fan uh, is installed. I ran the wiring. I put a Deutsch connector, ran it over to the factory uh, wiring harness. I made sure it was going to the right spot. It was actually throwing me for a loop for a little bit because this uh, this fuse box cover, it had the whole sticker on there. I started to peel it off because uh, this is the wrong cover. Uh, I think it's for an EG or something because that doesn't line up at all. Uh, it was really messing me up. But once I figured it out, I was like, oh, okay. But uh, yeah, I got it all situated. Uh, the supercharger oil cooler is now attached. So yeah, we're, we're getting somewhere, guys. So the next thing I'm kind of messing around with is I needed a coolant reservoir because obviously this needs to go somewhere and I wanted to put it over here but like the spacing with the headlight wasn't great so I was like you know what let's tuck it back in here so I just kind of I basically I took the bolt out for the ground that's over there and put a longer bolt in there and then I was able to run a nut um, so now it's kind of sitting down in here and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you know one of these goes to radio the other one's a drain but since I don't want it to you know, if it overflows, I don't want it to go right into the tire. So I think I'm gonna run a, a hose from here and then run it over further so that if it decides to dump, it's not gonna dump right in front of the tire because that's uh, that's sketchy. So yeah, I need to buy some hose though. So I think I need to go to the parts store. Okay, I made it to the parts store. Got the rubber hose I needed. Got that ran down there. I got the vacuum line or the boost line ran to the waste cake because I didn't have that on there before. I started zip tying some things up so everything is kind of out of the way. So I'm kind of getting to that point where everything kind of needs to be tucked, you know, to where it needs to be. Uh, for the moment, uh, the speed sensor, I don't have the right clip to actually put it on there. That and yeah, I'm going to have to rewire some things to get that to work. So at the moment, that's just going to hang out. Um, I should put my plug cover icon. I uh, hadn't done that yet. So yeah, we're kind of wrapping things up. I think I'm getting kind of close to the point we need to start fitting the bumper to see how much I need to cut. Okay, we're kind of kind of sort of getting somewhere. I had to cut a little bit right here. I honestly don't think I had to cut nearly that much. But like once I get this gap here like pulled in, it is pretty close. I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit, but I think it'll be all right. Um, this one, you know, it's obviously it's an aftermarket bumper, so it doesn't fit great. This headlight could definitely line up better. I think it's because the tab is broken on the bottom. So it's like totally, I don't know if you can see that, but it's missing that tab right there. So I mean, I need to get new headlights, but it's pretty close. It's lining up decently. I didn't have to cut the grill too much. Just basically just the bottom edge. I'll clean all that up, but I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna work guys. I just, uh, yeah, I need to figure out how to get the grill to fit because this cheap ass Chinese grill doesn't really fit the best. So I think I'm gonna have to modify that. Worst case scenario, I guess I can use that stock like EX looking grill, but 
yeah, obviously I don't want to, but I don't know. We'll keep messing with it, see if we can get something to work. I do think I need to get, there's like some, like these bumper lift little bracket things. I might get those to actually like squeeze that together so it actually sits with a nice gap. Because right now it's not the best gap, but I mean, it, it works, you know, it'll work. I guess one of the next things I decided to do was get rid of this automatic brake pedal that somebody cut down. Um, I have one off of, I believe it was an EG or an Integra. Turned out, uh, I tried to switch out just the pedal, but when I did that, I realized that the brake switch is in a different location than it is on a manual. So I ended up having to swap the whole unit out, which is, God, I mean, it's a pain in the ass just to change the pedal, but like to change, you know, either one, it's, it's a pain in the ass. But either way, it's in there. So, fuck, that part's done. God. So I was gonna start messing with the gauges and stuff, and I was like, you know what, I'm switching the steering wheel out of anyway. I might as well do that. I, I took the nut off of here. This steering wheel is so stuck on there. I've never, man, I cannot remember a time I've actually had to use uh, a steering wheel puller on a fucking Honda, but this one is stuck. So we're about to, uh, you know, grip and rip it, I guess. I don't know if it moved or not. There it goes. So I kind of have a mess going on now. Um, I got the steering wheel done. Um, I put the one from the K1 Attack in here because it's, you know, it's what I have. It'll work for now. It looks good. I think it's a little bit too small. I probably need to get a bigger one, honestly. But for the moment, it'll work. I'm starting to put the gauges in. Um, I got that one for the moment. Uh, the one that was in the Mini. It's like the, the boost and the air fuel gauge, like, built into one. Uh, I got all the... Most of the wiring is kind of sort of ran. Uh, O2 sensors, yeah, all that stuff is hooked up. Power and ground's hooked up. I just need to hook up like the uh, the input wire for the K Pro, and then uh, this one's for TAC signal uh, to that gauge. So I'm just kind of yeah wading through all this wiring bullshit. It's kind of a disaster, but it's getting there. I also while I had it up in the air, I went uh, and I actually bought some sway bar links some of those uh turnbuckle style kind of pillow ball looking mount deals uh i got some of those and I actually got the sway bar in there i ended up having to buy some bolts for the control arm because you know like i had talked about before they were the wrong thread pitch so i got the right ones and that's on there so that's all that's all nice now if i could just uh yeah get this shit finished up we'll be damn near there Hey guys, I started cleaning the interior and there was like mold all in the back of the seat and on that seat belt that I didn't even notice. I've been breathing that shit in the whole time. Fucking gross. So I just went through and like wiped everything down with white vinegar. I'm like waiting for it to, yeah, set in and to scrub it some more, but oh, gross. <laughs> Got to run in so I can leave that cooling system. It's running really good. Make sure all the uh, electronics are working. Wide band's working. It's reading correctly in K Pro. The fan was turning on, and I I set it really low just to check it. Everything seems to be working. Hell yeah. Oh man, guys, we're really getting somewhere now. Bumper's obviously on there. I spent a lot of time trying to get everything to line up pretty good, as best as I could. Obviously, you know, I still need to get a couple things to make it line up perfect, but it's really, yeah, we're there. I got the battery hold down is actually on there. I literally just got to finish bleeding the coolant. Uh, the interior is all back together now. Put everything in there. I even uh, put the radio install kit in there. Everything is done. I put the fuel pump in. The uh, I did find out that the rear seat is the wrong one. It doesn't line up at all. Um, I don't know why somebody did that, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I put all the all the plastics and stuff are bolted back on. I did swap out the door speakers uh, because I found when I was putting the radio in that. Um, they were kind of questionable. They didn't really fit the best. I had some other ones, just some Sony's, whatever. The, uh, one of the rear ones wasn't working. It's because, like, one of the wires was missing in the harness. It was weird. I ended up having to bypass it, and it, it was so jank before. It was unbelievable. But now it's, it's good. 
uh, yeah, I'm feeling really good about this, guys. Oh, I did take the uh, I took the window visors off too, because they were all fucking broken. I need to put new window seals on here because these are kind of dicked up. But you know, in due time, we'll get it all done. Especially when it comes to uh, you know redoing the body work and all that stuff. But for right now, right now, guys, it's looking pretty damn good. I think now I need to open the garage door, which is unfortunate because it's like 100 degrees outside, like not even joking, it's fucking hot. So yeah, I gotta run this thing and then start messing with alignment. Look at that nice grip royal shift knob. Hell yeah. Well guys, we're driving it. Hell yeah. It's driving pretty good. The steering wheel's off a little bit. I definitely need to adjust that. But I mean, it's it's driving pretty good. It seems to ride pretty smooth. Like, yeah. Tune is honestly pretty close, which it should be because everything's the same moved pulled out of the other car so it should be pretty fucking close the only thing i was a little concerned about is because the fuel system is slightly different even though it's the same fuel pump i may have to fuck around with the uh, uh with the fuel pressure but for the moment i mean it's working pretty good so yeah we're gonna go out and see if we can tune it a little bit just make sure that everything's pretty close and Definitely need a shift boot and some uh, heat insulation because it's really hot right here by my freaking uh, uh, yeah the shifter because there's like just air rushing in right by the exhaust which is that's always good but yeah we're gonna keep driving it. Well, uh, made a couple pulls. It's running really rich. Um, I don't know if it's because it's so goddamn hot outside. If it's because the fuel system is that much bigger. I mean. The exhaust system is different, I guess. Um, maybe that's part of it. I don't. I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of variables, I suppose. I thought it was gonna be a lot closer, but it's not. So, um, yeah, just pulling fuel and just gonna keep tuning and see if we can get her dialed in. pretty good about this it uh she's running pretty good i got the tune pretty much spot on for you know supercharger only obviously i gotta hook up the nitrous kit and stuff do all that but for the moment she's scooting pretty good even considering it's like 95 degrees outside still and it's like yeah dark outside it's hot but uh yeah it's it's doing great i mean i was kind of surprised that the tune was that far off but i mean I mean, I guess it is in a different car. There are a couple changes. I didn't think they were that extreme, but yeah, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, the car feels really solid, drives pretty good. The only thing I, I do think uh, I need to take care of is in, so in between some of those runs, I actually adjusted the steering wheel a little bit. So it's like almost straight. It's pretty close. I, I still just off a hair. I want to adjust that, but I also think I need to give it more toe in on the front because it seems at high speeds, it's a little kind of dirty. So I think it needs more toe in. But uh, other than that, I mean, yeah, I mean, the tune's good. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I mean, obviously there's a lot of things I need to do to it, but for the moment, dude, this thing's solid. Like, she scoots. I might, uh, maybe next time I'm working on it, I might put this thing on the scales because I'm really curious how much lighter this is versus the Mini, but I don't know. We'll find out. But I think for the moment, uh, I think that's going to be it on this one, guys. So like, subscribe, comment, do all the things. You already know. Peace out.